Hello viewers, this is Marianne here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you all, wherever you are in the world when you're watching? Huge shout out to you. Thank you to my viewers for your support, whether that be through comments, through uh, donations, wh whatever way uh, you are just thumbs up, uh, sub subscribing to the channel, um, whatever way you uh, support this channel, I'm uh, grateful for that. Uh, also, uh, I got together with Dr. Victoria Skirbo today, yesterday on Sunday morning in Australia, and uh, um, I've, we, we recorded a podcast. Are we living in some kind of dystopian world, or are we? Uh, are, is this an inflection point toward our evolution? That's on my Podbean web website, uh, and also on my podcast uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I think you've got details of that I've put that through the community uh, tab that's my random sage podcast which I'm thoroughly enjoying all right so let's uh, look at the energy for May 2023 I'm reading from the element elemental oracle by Stacy DeMarco and then I'm going to be using the um what's this deck the tarot of the divine um for the main reading today we'll be looking at are the Russian is the Russian army or is Russia on the brink of collapse as some reporting would lead us to believe um, and uh, also will Biden negotiate with McCarthy, McCarthy on the debt ceiling I've got a feeling Biden has something up his sleeve that nobody knows about just yet a lot of light in this room today um I've had um, requests to look at a deep dive on Marjorie Taylor Greene. No, I don't want to do a deep dive on that person. But I can look at where she'll be in uh, five years. Uh, you know, it seems to me there's this 15 minute of fame type energy about Marjorie Taylor Greene. And she's at, you know, minute 13. All right. Also, I'll be releasing star signs uh, for May this week, either tomorrow or the next day. Um, if you haven't seen my travel vlog uh, where I go to the healing gardens um, in a small rural town in the middle of New South Wales or in the southern part of uh, New South Wales, uh, I uh, got tremendous uh, activity on those rods. Uh, it, was, it was kind of healing for me too. So if you haven't checked that out, have a look at it. Uh, what else do I need to say? I think that's about it. Let's get on with the uh, energy for May. Uh, let's see what are going to be the major headliners for May. And of course, we've got the eclipse coming up on the 5th, 5th, 6th of May, depending on where you are in the world. Um it is visible from Australia. We will be able to see it. Uh, not, I'm not sure if you will be able to in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, but Asia and Oceania, uh, certainly it'll be visible to us. Um, I've had a cursory look at the chart. I'll do a, a, a fuller reading on that uh, for my Thursday uh, video. or fr I think it's your Wednesday, my Thursday or Friday, depending on how I get to it, uh, what happens this week. Um but uh, yeah, okay, so I'll do that uh, reading um, the day before the eclipse. Um, I've already looked at the chart. There's a lot, a lot being revealed in the third, uh, the third house. I, I cast the chart over Washington. So there's a lot coming out, a lot of information coming out. It's a, we're living in this period of, um, of revelations, um, which of course revelations brings accountability uh, to us uh, when we actually find out what has been hidden from our view and what has actually been happening. Well, we're in that kind of period now and that we could get some kind of explos explosive stuff occurring around the eclipse time, either before or after or during. All right, so uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, p particularly it's a lunar eclipse. But anyway, more on that later. So, you know, things coming up from the from the, the the underwater, you know, emerging uh, from the murky depths. Um, but we'll do that reading later on in the week. All right, so uh, let's have a look here. What is the energy for May? <laughs> May 2023, no matter where you are, for the collective, uh, whatever you want to bring forward, uh, spirit, what is the energy here? 
Yeah, I'm going back to kind of there was a period of time in history. Wasn't the, was it the Renaissance um, or pe- or a period the oh, Jacobites, Jacobite, Jacobites, whatever they were. That's what I'm seeing. One of them. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why, but that's what I'm seeing. Uh, so there could be similar similarities around that period to now. Okay, so we have the voice and we've got speaking your word. Wow. Okay. Uh, proudly speaking it too. And we see the young people uh, in the podcast yesterday. We talked about the young people stepping up, stepping forward, speaking their word. Nobody's being silenced right now. Pluto and Aquarius will bring forward what needs to be brought forward. So using your voice, that's what we're doing, 27. Um, and it is to bring about change. So that's the energy we're in in May, um, uh, people using their voice to bring about change. Now we have the equator here, again, to make equal, to make equal, number five, yay, <laughs> to make equal. I love this energy, using your voice to make equal. And, you know, people are supporting others. Um, I go back to the Tennessee uh, Parliament or Congress, um, and the elderly woman, I should probably shouldn't call her that, but she supported those two young uh, lawmakers there. And uh, we're just getting across the aisles. Um, Republican, Some Republican women are standing up and saying, no, we don't want these draconian anti-abortion laws. We don't want them. Women don't want them. <laughs> so you're getting a lot of people using their voice to make equal. Now we have here the out of outer core fluidity uh, number uh, 12. So this is about new beginnings and it's it's new relationships with others. Uh, and there's a fluidity about May, uh, again, uh, where we see people crossing the aisle in some way. I don't know whether that's in Parliament or Congress or whatever, but disparate people coming together, interesting, coming together to um, to bring forward change. Um Okay, so we have the soul here. We have passion at the at the base of the pack, um, and growth. Hmm. One more, please. Uh, and we have um, building, building atoms. Yeah, change is building. You can expect change in May, and you're you're going to see people coming together who normally would not come together. And you could see revelations around the eclipse time toward the end of this week. But I'll do that in a separate reading. All right. The first question is, how is Russia really doing in Ukraine? Everyone wants to see an end to this invasion. Uh, but it's not about drawing up territory for Russia to have, whether it's you or Elon Musk or whoever, just so that you can... Be comfortable because you're not being invaded, you're not being murdered, your family's not being bombed. That's not about this. But let's see, this has been long, long and protracted. That's what uh, invasions are like when when the sovereign country fights back. Also want to dispel this despicable stuff going around. I watched someone's video the other day. Um, I don't know, I just came upon it in my feed and he said, well, we're on the brink of war because the US has got boots on the ground in Ukraine. Such an authority that he spoke with. Um, there's 14, according to leaked intelligence, <laughs> along with other NATO, uh, NATO, uh, for, you know, there's others from other countries, other NATO countries, but 14 from the US. Largely involved in training, uh, training Ukrainian troops. Uh, so 14 US boots on the ground. US Army's got boots on the ground. Okay, enough of the, um, enough of it. <laughs> 14. All right, let's keep going. I want to see... Uh, you know, Biden's quite stealthy. Um, NATO's been very, very vigilant and diligent. And, uh, yeah. All right. Let's have a look. 
generous. Let's have a look how Russia's actually doing subservient as, as they are to China. Uh, let's have a look. How is Russia really doing? Is there any truth to this... Uh, these stories around Wagner, the Wagner, Wagner group is threatening to pull out because they're not being given ammunition <laughs> out of Bakhmut. Um, and we've got the Ukraine's counteroffensive. How is Russia really doing in Ukraine? How, show me uh, how Russia is doing with this invasion of their own, uh, of their own making, decision to invade Ukraine. How is Russia really doing? How is Russia really doing? All right, so we have the Queen of Coins. Interesting, that supply can be uh, money and we get the Hierophant uh, crossing the Queen of Coins. There's a higher purpose here. The Hierophant can be government. So the government's not supplying. The government of Russia is not supplying. The government of Russia is finding uh, itself in financial there's a cash uh, liquidity type of problem here, a money flow problem. We have the King of Wands at the base of the pack, bravery, boldness, stepping forward, leadership. There's a crisis of leadership. Is what I want to say. There's a crisis of leadership in Russia at the moment. Apparently, according to stories, there's like three and a half armies operating in Russia, all under different generals uh putin is so paranoid someone will overtake him that he uh those that do well he kind of sends to the not quite to siberia but off to the back there so that they can't do well the wagner head is one such person the tower is in the past okay so they've experienced this tower moment um we rarely see what's really going on in russia but uh i'd i'd say in the past the many have been looking for an escape route a lot has changed in russia since february 2022 and we'd be fooling ourselves if we didn't acknowledge that we have the devil the devil in the sky my gosh um where is putin in that woods wood that uh forest of trees there with only the uh snake appearing uh, out of that thickness um where is he this is definitely a crisis of leadership that's what i want to say to you today it's a crisis of leadership now in the immediate future we have families reuniting uh and you know literally um they have been using troops as cannon fodder here. But we do see uh, some troops going home. I'm not sure why that is. Nine of coins, uh, again, uh, looking to, toward money supply. And it's crossed by manifestation or manipulation. What are they doing? Man well, we know they're manipulating the information they're giving to uh, the Western world, the IMF and various other global structures, the World Bank. Uh, it's not true that what what they're saying. Um, so there's a, there's a but there's also a manifestation here too. The people of Russia might be getting quite sick and tired of what's going on, of losing their troops and also this financial uh, situation that's going uh, going on there at this time. Uh, and we have the lovers card here, uh, relationships, um, that's interesting. Ooh, okay, not good. Um, there's very, very little cohesiveness there at the top. Four of swords, wounded in battle, um, just not getting, not supporting. You know, this is sort of the kind of stuff that happens before a leader's removed. It's it's that kind of energy and mm, death, 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 death. Wow. Wow. Look at these cards. <laughs> Don't worry about carving up Ukraine for Russia. Um you might be thinking that uh, Russia might be carved up in the end. We've got the devil. It's toxic, absolutely toxic. No leadership or divided leadership, factional leadership, factions operating. No, no, no one. You, can, you can't trust anybody because we've got the four of swords. Relationships are over. Four of swords wounded in battle. There, the death card. There, it's it's the end. Situation is so bad, something's got to give uh, in Russia. A crisis of leadership, a crisis in the field and monetary uh, supply. 
problems to the troops, but also within Russia. Where's Putin? Well, I always saw he's behind a guarded gate uh, in a bunker somewhere in the forest. Uh, four of Cups. Uh, three, three battles have been lost and there's one cup remaining. Now we get the truth. Uh, strategy and planning and the truth. We're going to get um, some information coming out about this uh, bombshell information. The truth is going to be uh, emerge just how bad Russia is doing um, in Ukraine at this time and how bad it is in Russia. That's going to be that's going to that's going to hit the mainstream news in some way. All right, so that's the reading on that. Uh, will Biden negotiate with McCarthy? Let's look at this clairvoyantly. Will Biden negotiate with... Okay, so there's uh, just partisan. It's that five of wands, obstacles, challenges. Um, four are at the table. Four are at the table. What's he going to do? Is he going to go and negotiate? Is he negotiating with Repub Republicans outside of McCarthy? I don't even know the protocols for that. Um is he talking or getting his people to talk to other Republicans? There's deals being done behind doors that may not necessarily... I'm working on it, is what I'm hearing. I'm working on it. Okay. Um, okay. Show me uh, what Biden is doing. I just, I'm just i laughing because of what he... What he, he was just on fire at the... Uh, correspondence dinner at the White House. Okay, he's still got it. All right. Uh, will, ba will Biden ne negotiate? Seven of Swords, I'm seeing lies. Uh, will Biden negotiate with McCarthy? So I think someone's going to betray McCarthy. That's what my readings keep telling me, um, and that he might find himself out of a speaker's job. King of Coins, okay, so we get um, the money, we get businesses, we get... Trump, Trump the businessman, and the Seven of Wands um, having to defend himself. Okay, so that's Trump under fire there is at the root of everything. Uh, this is Trump using the leverage of the Republicans in the House uh, to try and ameliorate, um, alleviate his uh, what he's facing. Four of Cups here. Um, that's three Cups lost, one remaining. There's one... One ace up Biden's sleeve. The high priestess is secrets here. Secrets and clandestine kind of um, events. We have new starts here. The full card. There's potential. Potential for negotiations to go forward. But here's the seven of swords. Lies. Wow. Wow. That came up into my clairvoyance. Uh, McCar this is the, sorry, but the McCarthy is full of BS. Uh, this is he, he. He keeps saying Biden should negotiate. He doesn't intend. Uh, he doesn't intend that at all. He does not intend that at all. Uh, and so Biden already knows that he's going around McCarthy in some way. King of Coins about putting pressure on. Um, pressure on perhaps McCarthy. Who's McCarthy's masters? Donors, six of coins, loans and debts, um, the debt, the debt ceiling. Nobody wants to see that debt ceiling defaulted upon on uh, the Eight of Cups uh, in the hopes and fears. Yeah, very real. The default is a very real possibility. The Page of Coins, they're going to negotiate, but not much. I think Biden has other other plans. Uh <laughs> manifestation and the king of wands yeah he's already um talking with some other republicans who may be at the behest of their donors of their big donors um so there's a lot of theater around this and uh I'm, biden's playing to win i'm pretty sure mccarthy's going to lose at some point so he will negotiate but not over the debt ceiling so he'll negotiate over the budget, but not over the debt ceiling. But he's got some other plan in mind. Uh, is he going behind Kevin's back? Is he talking with other Republicans? Is he talk the 
the Caucasus, the four. Is there four of them? That's what I saw at the table. We might be talking to the to those or some of those. Is he is the White House not Biden himself? But is the White House putting feelers out to uh, more sensible Republicans? Three of Wands. Um, yes. <laughs> He's doing the work uh, behind the scenes, uh, and this is about waiting for one ship to come in. Is Biden, uh, the White House people, other lawmakers talking with other Republicans here? So we have the Queen of Swords. Yes, there's a plan and a strategy for stabilisation. We have the uh, Five of Cups here. Uh, three cups lost, two remaining, yeah. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of pressure here and it's not coming. If we think the Republican Party is united behind extremists, think again. Queen of uh, Coins is in the past, stability. Uh, and we've got the Hermit Review, isolation, um, clandestine stuff, doing things um, that we wouldn't know about. And we get the Four of Cups, three cups lost, one remaining. There's one particular group or one person even, uh, or one group that he's talking or that, that his people are talking with. And we get the Seven of Swords coming through here again, who don't want to see, there's the President's card, who do not want to see um, any, any, any possibility of defaulting. Four of Swords, Retreat, Three of Cups, Celebration. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, that in a couple of weeks we might find out uh, that, that, that this apparent stalemate might have been solved in some way. Let's see before I get to Marjorie Taylor Greene in five years. Let's see if uh, McCarthy ends up being rolled. Does McCarthy end up being pushed out? Does McCarthy end up being pushed out? The donors, the big, big, big moneyed people, they're not interested in brinkmanship that might cost them. Does McCarthy end up being rolled from the Speaker's position? Does he end up losing the Speaker's position? That fox is on the ceiling of his carriage. Oh, you know, justice. <laughs> strength. The strength of justice coming. The chariot, quicker than we think. The king of cups, Biden in the past. Oh, dear. The ten of cups, the voter. Yeah, some of those lawmakers are concerned about uh, whether or not will cost them their seats in 2024. Uh, yeah, there's plans to roll McCarthy. Um, he better watch himself and bring a more moderate speaker in. They were all yes cards, by the way. They were all very clear. I can say McCarthy doesn't get to keep his speakership in the longer term and that Biden is very much involved and his people are very much involved in this whole, whole thing. So I'm thinking the debt ceiling will be raised and then I'm thinking he, he does some negotiation with the budget. But uh, it's not going to go how McCarthy thinks it's going to go. Okay, MT. G. Marjorie Taylor Green. Sorry, but like anyone who releases a video, video swinging from some monkey bars, like exercising to prove how, I don't know. I don't know what she was trying to prove. It was a terrible image. Anyway, that woman, that woman, Marjorie Taylor Green. Marjorie Taylor Green. Five years, five years. Show me Marjorie Taylor Green in five years. So the diamond tiara thingy, you know how prom queens, I don't know, did she ever get to be prom queen? I don't think she did. Uh, but now it's her like her moment in the spotlight. The tiara has fallen off. Actually, someone took it off. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the future, I know she's in a um, MAGA seat, but she might lose her seat in in the Congress. Anyway, someone's taking the tiara off her head. Show me Marjorie. Oh, yeah, Ten of Swords, Marjorie Taylor Green. 
in five years. So we get justice. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't do this. The Ace of Coins. Okay, so here's some, she could fall foul of some kind of finan in some kind of financial situation here. Um, but the Justice card uh, tells me um, that her finances could be affected in some way. The Devil card is at the base of the pack. These cards are quite strong, aren't they? Um, the Devil card, temptation, money, fame, justice is coming. Justice is coming. The Seven of Coins here in the past. She has a financial uh, issue. Whether she's living beyond her means or not, I don't know. But she has finance, financial troubles in the future. The King of Swords suggests she might even be a probe or, a, or a, an investigation of something around her finances. Uh, and we get the Nine of Coins in the immediate future. So there's definitely stuff here around her money. Um <clears throat> And maybe having lots of it at the moment, but that devil tells me that what what is what is here now, or even in the immediate future, one two years, is probably not going to stay there because the justice card is all about karma, something coming to fruition in time. The ten of swords, that's in the here and now. So the energy that she's manifesting <clears throat> with this devil-like stuff that she's doing, she's actually manifesting her own downfall right now. You treat people like that. You go in the way that she's going in and do the damage that she's doing and, and dance with the devil. You're setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up. The Two of Swords in the hopes and fears, a crossroads. She will face a, a crossroads. And the Six of Coins, yeah. It's about going into debt here. Loans and debts. She's living beyond her means. She will have a financial and a very real downfall. The Eight of Wands. Uh, we've, got, we've got news coming out uh, around her finances. And the Queen of Coins, um... Yeah, it's all about it's all about the money here. Wish fulfillment right now. The sun is shining. I'm getting a lot of attention. Page of cups here, something coming out of the blue that she doesn't expect. The wheel of fortune and the moon, secrets being revealed. Okay. Something's going to come out about her finances, her money. And that she is going to be investigated for some reason. And the two of wands, coupled with the environment being the ten of uh, swords, tells me she's kind of she's being now manifesting her own karma, which is a downfall. And it will, I think, have something to do with money. Maybe she borrows money or she borrowed money from somebody. She's in someone's debt. And we're going to get a good look at whose debt she's in. Or what debt she's in. All right, um, I'll leave that there for the reading for today. Um, remember, this is a time of of accountability. Uh, I'll be back again with another reading soon, and cheerio.